So what'd you think, huh? Something a little bit different, right? It's a Halloween episode, so let's get into it. It's called Frightening Fingers, and I've always wanted to do fingers, but I never found the right recipe. I think this is it. So let me show you. It doesn't take a lot, but it's gonna take a little bit of work. Come on in close. All right, so I have confectioners or powdered sugar. I've got all-purpose flour, vanilla extract, almond extract, a little bit of red candy gel, decorating gel. I've got salt, baking powder, one egg, butter, and sliced almonds. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is mix the butter with the sugar. We're gonna cream that up. The almond extract is smelling the whole kitchen up. It smells pretty awesome. I just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, now we're gonna pop the egg in there. There we go. Yes, I hurl my eggshells across the kitchen. It's just the kind of guy I am. And you're gonna pour in the almond extract. And the vanilla extract. Now before I start to mix the flour in, into this mix, I'm going to put the salt and baking soda in first. A little bit of salt going on in there. There we go. Then I'm just gently going to mix it all together before I combine it slowly, a little at a time, into the wet batter. A little bit at a time. and work it in. All right, I'm at the point where I'm gonna wanna stop with the, with the uh, mixer, because it's getting more doughy. So I'm just gonna go with the good old fashioned fork. I don't have much left. Let's put the rest in. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. Very clumpy. Now we're gonna put this in four different bowls. Whoops, I guess I'm just gonna use my hands. My hands are clean, so let's just kind of break it up a little bit into four equal sections. Go. All right, now put these in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and then bring them back out and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm gonna spray a little nonstick on this. It says to lightly. Let me go get some of uh, the dough out. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Grab a little bit of this. This says to make just one one inch balls. So you wanna do just tiny little ones like that. Roll them up tight. See that? Just like that. Okay, put that off to the side. I'm gonna show you how to make one finger and then you're gonna make a bunch of them, okay? Then you're gonna roll it flat between your hands. You're gonna stretch it out. You're gonna gently get this thing to be about three inches long. And if it starts to look like that, just push the ends in and don't, and give more pressure to the middle and less of the outside, okay? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here. Little, little guy, isn't it? Little dude. Gonna give it a little bit of shape. I'm gonna pinch it. Whoop, that means my oven is preheated. Okay, just gonna pinch the sides here a little bit. There we go. 
Okay, then you're gonna take the end of a spoon here and right at the tip, you're just gonna press down right the, right there, just to give it a nail bed so you can put the almond in later. There we go. And the last thing you're gonna do to make this finger perfect, you're gonna do three tiny little slits right at the knuckle. There you go. Okay, can you see that? That look okay? And that's it. And you're gonna do a whole bunch of these about two inches apart. Okay, now put these in the oven, 325, 20 to 25 minutes, probably about 20 minutes. These are little tiny fingers. And then bring them back out and we'll get them all decorated. All right, so here we go. Let's start with this one right here, the big one. I'm gonna put a little bit of red gel right on the tip in the, in the bed, like that. And I'm gonna carefully, if I can show you guys, place the, the sliced almond right on the tip. There we go, right like that. Like that. Let me show you again. A little dot right here of the decorating gel. And then place the almond right on the tip. And make sure that the red kind of squishes out. Give it a press. There you go. How does that look? And once again, they said if you, if one breaks, just kind of open it up and put some of that jelly in there and then just let it dry. It looks even gruesomer. Isn't that cool? Look, I had my fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh gosh, I kill myself. So there it is. I'm all right. I'm impressed. I'm happy with the results. I'm sure you guys can do better than I can. So once again, if Jack can do it, you can do it. Let's give him a try. I got to see if these taste any good. Wow, that was scary. Get it? Halloween? Scary? Ruining recipe? Scary? Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to taste this little finger here. Ready? Mmm. They're like sugar cookies, kind of. They're very soft. I thought they were gonna be hard. Mmm, really good flavor. This was only like one fifth of the batch. You can make probably about 40 fingers. What a great treat for the kids. They're gonna love this. Try it out. Tell me down below how I could have improved. I can always do better. As much as you learn from me, I like to learn from you. You guys take care, have a safe Halloween, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.